Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We exalt you, Master, because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. There is nothing impossible with you. At this hour, we commit everything in your hands. We commit this radio station in your hands. The Lord, your blessing will be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. I greet everyone in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for another day, the day the Lord has made, that we should rejoice and be glad in it. And um, this is another day that God has permitted us to come before His presence. And um, we thank God this day has come finally. Uh, we, we are happy, happy to be here. And um, today we're going to talk on, on a special topic. We have been hearing on this topic for a long time, but um, we have a very powerful, great man of God who is really experienced in marriage. He's been married for over 50 years. And um, we have the privilege to be with him. His name is... Elder George Asidu in to Hallelujah. And I'll speak a little bit about um, his background. Then after that, we can welcome him. And then we go straight into um, the interview. Uh, whoever is listening, you can share the message to your friends. Tell them. And then they can ask questions. Amen. They can ask questions. Um, he is a retired civil and public servant from Ghana. Currently, he resides in the UK. He's been in the UK for um, a while now, many, many years. Uh, and he's a professionally trained teacher with years of um, experience in teaching with the Ghana Education Service. Um, one of the veterans in education training and then he, he has been with them for many years he's also a trained journalist and mass media communicator he communicates he, he, he's been trained as a journalist we know it's not this kind of journalism that we do now <laughs> when we talk about uh, the olden days of being a journalist, they go deep into things and then bring out only the truth. Mm. Bring out only the truth. So he is in that position. He's been a mass media communicator. He worked for the Ghana Information Services Department as a research writer. He's also a writer, research writer. Amen. So he's a very powerful man. Um, public relations officer as well. He is also a counselor. He's a counselor. Information. He's been in Lagos. He stayed in Lagos because of his pro professionalism. He's been in Lagos. He's been um, in Ghana, stayed in Ghana for a while, and in London as a missionary or um, for his missions. Hallelujah. So he's a counselor in many things. And today we're going to put him to test. <laughs> We're going to put him to test in many ways. And since may I know how to ask questions, um, I will really ask questions. And then um, we'll get everything that we need. So if you have tuned in and you want to ask questions about um, marriages, um, this is the time. Uh, as I said, he's experienced, very much experienced. And um, sometimes I, I really admire the way um, he lives with his wife. Amen. He's a customer care officer as well with two leading security firms in the United Kingdom. Uh, he's been in the UK for 
years. So when I, even if this one was started in the year 2001, so we can tell. He is um, over 77 years old. His last birthday was in March 2018, where he turned 77. Amen. So, Eda Asiedu Into is married to Mrs. Agnes Asiedu Into, who later on, when God permits, she will be with him. And then um, the questions will be stronger. <laughs> we ask both of them questions. Hallelujah. And is um, Mrs. Agnes Asiedu Into um, was a teacher and a home care worker um, for 51 years with two elderly daughters and two adopted male children and um, they believe in Christianity they are Christians uh, they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior they believe in the doctrines of the Bible and what Jesus has taught us the counseling about the Holy Spirit and everything so he is here today to um, teach us, enlighten us uh, a bit on um, marriages, marriages. Because when I heard that uh, he's been married over 51 years, I said, wow, um, even the, the age of his marriage is older than me, <laughs> <laughs> which is, it means I wasn't even born when he got married. Mm -hmm. And so he really has a great experience. And more also, I've known him for a while now. He's a man of justice. He speaks um, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. When he speaks and you take it, you benefit. And um, we come from the same um, town. He comes from Ebri, and um, I come from Okropon. It's, it's almost the same place. So. I've known him and I know the spirit that he carries. I've been with him for a while and um, I can say that he is a true man of God. Even his age tells us that he's been um, a true child of God. And that is why God is continually blessing him and his entire family. So, Elder, I call him uncle, so I call him uncle. Where is the elder? <laughs> Uncle George, you are welcome oh, to bless um, radio and bless TV. Thank you. Um, we have shared this time for so many uh, weeks back, and by the special grace of God today, um, God has made it possible that we come here and um, discuss this important um, topic on um, marriage. All right. So, without wasting time, I will. Um, I've prayed, but I'll, if Elder will also uh, initiate the service in the hands of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, Reverend Apple. Um, it's a great day for me mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, we have postponed this program uh, over a number of weeks. Mm. But we have always hoped that God's time will prevail Amen. and this afternoon that has happened. Amen. Uh, I'd like to thank you for the elaborate introduction. Mm. Uh, a good many people who have been in, in, in public affairs mm. will hear the name and begin to recall mm. where they met me or where they saw me or where they had an encounter with me. Mm. It's all because my training and my professional contacts took me through teaching mm. to journalism and then to doing counseling and, and, and other social uh, things. Mm. So I am grateful to God for having given me that opportunity mm. to be useful to mankind. Mm. I know I still have something more to give out right. through the experience. Mm. There is a popular statement which goes like this, that experience is the best teacher. Mm. 
Mm. Only his school fees are very high. <laughs> so I have paid in certain situations very mm. high fees for yeah. the experiences that I have gone through. Mm. Mm. And so I believe all uh, humans who are all visitors, I mean all listeners, mm. will share the same view with me. Mm. There are others who have experienced worse situations in my life, mm. but because they have the faith, they have mm. the belief, mm. they have the endurance, mm. they have come to live through it and they are still living. Amen. So I'm glad to be here to share mm. views on marriage, aspects of marriage. Mm. And I hope that at the end of it all, we will have gained some amount of additional mm. experience mm. to what we have gone through before. Okay. So thank you. Okay, we thank God. Amen. Uh, we thank God for um, uh, what God is also doing in your life. He is he's giving you the ability to be here. And as you said, um, it is the appointed time that we will have to know more about the things in marriage. Yes. And um, it is a blessing that you have also uh, acknowledged our invitation mm -hmm. uh, to be here. Yes. So we will also thank you for uh, making it possible to be here. Right. And um, uh, before I start asking Mr. Uh, or Elder into questions, mm -hmm. I will say that um, to all listeners, you can send your messages, call the studio line um, on 07477 uh, or the free line is 0800 772 zero eight six nine and to ask the man of god your questions and i believe he will be ready to answer you for well, my first question i will ask uh, uncle george is um, the difference between um because in this we hear all the time um even today i've heard few statements from people about worldly marriages and um godly marriages um can we differentiate between what a, a worldly marriage is and what a godly marriage is does it mean that a worldly marriage is not um god god's hand is not in it i would like to have a clear explanation on godly marriages and um worldly marriages Oh, thank you very much. Uh, the issues are very basic when we come to define what a marriage is. Mm. The traditional marriage was initiated by God, mm. according to the book of Genesis. Mm. Uh, it's all explicit mm. that when God had put together all the good things of the world, mm. he realized that there must be need for somebody to be a custodian, mm. to look after things, mm. so that his, his, his great achievements in inventing and establishing the universe mm. will be appreciated right. and will be useful to mm. whoever needs to benefit by it. Mm. So he brought Adam into focus mm. and then he also realized that, oh no, I will not complete my work if I don't give a partner to this gentleman. Mm. So he gave Eve. Mm. And we all are fully aware of the circumstances that befell them mm. in the Garden of Eden. Right. But the important thing is that marriage is of God. Mm. He established it to pursue a purpose. Mm. The purpose was to replenish the world mm. and to make it useful mm. to human beings. Right. Because it's it can be a situation where you have money to establish a football park mm. and you haven't got a good team to play on it. <laughs> right. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. It doesn't work like that. Yes, okay. but over the years, marriage and time mm. have brought changes. Mm. So the simplicity of God's marriage mm. does not exist today in our lives. Right. We have made all sorts of human mm. extensions and additions mm. to marriage to such an extent that it becomes a burden even for somebody who hasn't got the means to marry the way other people are marrying mm. to go into it. Mm. 
Mm. It, se it sets you back. Right. How can I marry mm. when I don't have the means to send out invitations, mm. bring in people to eat and drink, mm. and all the rest? Right. But God meant a marriage to be a blessed spiritual association mm. between man and wife right. for the purposes of reproducing themselves and replenishing mm. his good earth. Right, right. This is such a powerful um, explanation. So, um, from the beginning, mm. marriage was instituted by God. Yes. God um, brought my marriage into existence. Yes. Right. So, do we have worldly marriages? Yes, we do. As I told you, mm. uh, it's many years ago since the original pattern of marriage was mm. set up by God. Mm. And uh, when you bring in humanity, mm. you bring in change, mm. and you bring adaptations and manifestations of human needs, mm. then you are likely to undermine the simplicity of what God had established. Right. That is why in our modern times, mm. people have gone miles away mm. from the pattern and style that God would have wished us mm. Mm. to live by mm. uh, buying expensive wedding gowns, gowns. rings mm. the bible is basic in all mm. this mm. but then people have gone to the extent of making it a commercial enterprise right there are specialists who will advise you what kind mm. on style of uh, wedding gown you must use and you pay fees for it right these are all worldly worldly things okay. you see mm. expensive parties and expensive uh, uh, ceremonial uh, attributes to marriage mm. are all very worldly they mm. are not godly okay which one is the godly one the godly one is when a man and a woman and in our cultural terms mm. organize and say we bless you to mm. to go into marriage mm. and obey the command of god right be fruitful and multiply mm. genesis uh, 1 27 28 mm. is 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 a confirmation mm. of what god meant marriage to be mm. But man has changed over the years, mm. and other things have come to add to the complexity of life. Mm. So the definition really of a godly marriage mm. should amount to the simplicity mm. and the less expensive nature that we put into it. Right. It must relate to what the Bible has described mm. as living in God's own way mm. to please Him. Right, right. This is a very powerful uh, definition of godly marriage. One may ask also that um, um, you spoke about worldly marriage, where they buy expensive things. Um, you did mention of extensions mm -hmm. in marriage. Yes. It means they have left the the godly side mm. of marriage mm. and now they have um, introduced yes. their own kind of marriage so uh, in effect people are uh, buying things they go they, they see marriage as satisfying the natural things yes. rather than satisfying godly yes. uh, instructions yes. so if in case I don't have money to buy an expensive ring mm. for my wife mm. to be, mm. it means I cannot marry. No. If I don't have money to buy expensive gown, yes. then I cannot marry. No. So now man has deviated from yes. godly yes. Um, kind of marriage yes. and have adopted mm. um, uh, some kind of marriage, yes. their own way of marriage right. right so if a christian has money to buy those expensive things and yet um have um godly fear in them is it wrong um no it's not wrong mm. as i said god doesn't require us to be expensive mm. in what we want to do to please him right the simplicity of it 
mm. is all that he requires. He requires. Okay. The purity of it mm. is all that he requires. Mm. Is the holiness surrounding it mm. is all that he requires. Right. And is the ability to sustain you mm. as an individual who is promoting that objective mm. Mm. is all that God, God, God requires. requires from us. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. I heard a Reverend Minister speaking. Um, I actually didn't agree with him, but um, I'll, I'll ask the same question to check your views. Maybe yes. you may go a bit further to explain things because there are so many doctrines outside about marriage yes. where it has put a lot of people off yes. and they are not getting married no. and rather living in sin yeah. um, because one man of God says this or that. Mm. What I heard this man saying, this reverend minister saying in Ghana is that when a man has no money mm -hmm. then a woman should not marry uh, such a person she didn't marry a poor man <laughs> because if you marry if a woman marries a poor man they 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 will they said to be problems in mm. the marriage oh. and i really didn't agree with that no. um, but um, i would like you to throw a bit of light to it because now like you said material things have become so um, important. important in marriage mm. and we have left the real mm. instructions yeah. on marriage. Yeah. So should um, um, a woman marry one who has no money? Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, the basic underlying factor of marriage is love. Mm. Love is, is one word which has so many uh, powerful spiritual meanings right we recall when jesus christ came uh, and before he went out to do the wonderful things that he did mm. his first appreciation and respect for marriage mm. was when he attended mm. a wedding mm. Mm. and we are told according to the bible mm. that when they had exhausted their good drinks mm. wine for mm. the uh, people, occasion, yeah. occasion, he found it very, very good enough mm. to turn water mm. into wine mm. to make the celebration complete. Right. And we are told by the Bible records, records mm. that that wine which was served at the last end of the celebration mm. was the best wine that anybody had drunk. Yeah. The simplicity of the process mm. of trying to contribute to the happiness and joy of the people mm. made Jesus' appearance on the scene mm. very remarkable. Mm. Mm. So it is a pity for anybody to think that mm. marriage is for the expensive people. Mm. No, that is more humanistic mm. than spiritualistic. Mm. In other words, there are a whole lot of situations in life that can happen to us mm. based on our faith and our belief mm. in the journey we are taking. Right. The Akan tradition says marriage is a long journey. Aware ne kwangware. Yeah. So I know people have gone into marriage mm. very well placed, affluent, mm. but the patterns have not brought them any joys. Right. The marriages have not lasted because mm. sometimes they have borrowed money mm. to please the world mm. Mm. and so the marriage collapses mm. and mm. they become enemies right. instead of being God's own chosen couple. Mm. 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 And there are situations in very many small situations that mm. two poor people have come together yeah. and with persistency mm. and prayer mm. have succeeded to make their marriage work mm. and they have been able to raise the amount of money required to sustain and support them mm. throughout the marriage. Right. The simplicity of it is such that they are able to cope with mm. any challenges that come up mm. in the mm. process of living together. Mm. That is the issue that we have to look for. Mm. That how am I able to cope with challenges in marriage? Mm. Because in all marital situations, there are challenges. Mm. And if we are not prepared mm. to face them squarely, mm. then we are defeated in our attitudes and in our objectives. Right. So, in effect, 
we don't need um um or i would say that what the reverend minister said was wrong they're totally wrong it was totally wrong totally wrong because this this person you see that is why i always tell people that you must know who you listen to mm. and those you don't have to listen to yes and this is a, 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 a reverend minister in ghana mm -hmm. who spoke in public yes he speaks in public mm. all the time about marriage yes. and he really condemns mm. the women who mm. involve themselves in relationships when the man is not rich mm. the man has to be rich and um, he's a counselor as well, okay. so, so called a counselor. No. And um, I have always tried to call that program mm. uh, when he's on yeah. to, to speak to him or maybe get his personal number mm. and maybe uh, chip in some advice because um, what he says makes people, I feel, it will cause people to rather live in sin yeah. and rather than uh, building yeah. together. Because in the book of Genesis, mm. the Bible makes us to understand that God said it is not good for a man mm. to live alone. No. Let me make him yes. and help me. Yes. So man is never complete no. until he gets and help me. Yes. And because God didn't give everything mm. to man, no. He said, I'll bring you somebody. Yes. So that the person will help you mm. build mm. what I want yes. to be built on yes. earth. So um when it when it comes to marriage um i believe that there should be a uh, love as you said yes number one thing is uh, love mm. okay so from there um what i will ask i would like to also know is what are some of the challenges that um as a married man mm. uh, over 50 years yes what are some of the uh, major challenges that not you mm. per se but in general mm. you think um, marriages go through mm -hmm. um, with your experience 51 years of marriage right. what are some of the challenges that you can mention yes. and then how and uh, to come overcome them all right there are two sides to every uh, challenge that comes up mm. it may be physical mm. challenge mm. like you marry a woman you realize that she cannot produce children. Mm. That's one big one challenge. physical challenge. Right. right. Then there are spiritual challenges mm. where there is lack of understanding, mm. lack of appreciation of each other, mm. Mm. and inability to, to compromise on mm. issues. Mm. These are spiritual. Mm. Because the gifts of God are many and varied. Yes. And those that relate to humanity and mm. to our responsibility to appreciate the others mm. are all spiritual. Right. You must be gifted mm. to be a humble person. Right. You cannot buy humility from the shop. Mm. There's no <laughs> way about that. <laughs> and then you cannot you cannot go to any shop and say, give me uh, a certain amount of uh, obedience mm. Mm. or respectability. Mm. You can buy respectability mm. from the Tesco shop. Right. It must be a gift of God mm. within you mm. to mm. which you must use mm. to meet the demands of your partner. Mm. And in most cases, these are not easily mm. attained. Mm. Because as I said for a start, when God decided mm. to establish marriage, he mm. established it on the basis of spirituality okay not on the basis of commercial enterprise mm. Mm. not on the basis of frivolity mm. oh ah, this is a beautiful woman mm. let me go and see if i can marry her and bring her to my house mm. no mm. that will make the marriage work no it won't right because you have to taken just one little aspect of of Mm, a woman a woman mm. to to decide to bring her to your home mm. but the totality of it all must be based on mm. one the woman's spirituality right. and your own spirituality mm. and how much the two of you mm. can cooperate mm. with understanding mm. with obedience mm. respectability mm. and truthfulness right. to live through 
the hard days of the marriage. Right. So, um, in effect, uh, you have mentioned the physical side. Mm. One of the challenges yes. as unfruitfulness. Yes. When um, one is not fruitful, no. um, it's a challenge. Yes, I know. Um, so, Elder, mm. how would you know that this person I'm going to marry cannot bear children? Right. Because uh, there's before yes, there's, yes. you know a lot of worldly people yes. or people say that uh, you you have to uh, test mm. and see before you know whether she's right or not right. Okay. You know which I have most of the time challenging because yes. women are not cast yes. to for you to go and, uh, yes, try. and try and test the test drive right. Ex exactly <laughs> test drive. So, um, in your wisdom, how would one know that um, this person is unfruitful or cannot bear children? Mm. And how are you going to cope with it when you have already married such a person? All right. Uh, modern technology has mm. made it very, very simple for us. Mm. Uh, I recall when I met my wife. Uh, mm. Sometime in 1965, mm. we started playing around. Long time ago. Mm. And mm. Um, out of it, we decided, okay, I think we are ready to, to marry. Mm. In those years, there was no need for you to want to go to a hospital or to mm. a doctor or a specialist mm. hospital to see how fruitful mm. your wife is going to be. Yeah. Or whether the compatibility is mm. there yeah. to pursue the issues. Mm. So we got married. Right. Uh, this, the disadvantage came up when we had our first child. Mm. And because of our black group mm. were incompatible, mm. the first child we had was a sickle cell mm. patient. Right. You see, mm. if we had taken the opportunity to go to hospital, mm. if the knowledge were there mm. for us to attest mm. or whether there was a problem with our blood group, mm. then we would not have married mm. to bring forth disabled children. Okay. You see? Mm. But all I'm saying is that mm. the modern situation mm. can help you to establish the mm. fact that, oh mm. yes, this is a woman mm. who will be fruitful. Right. Because you can just walk to the hospital and say, mm. we want to test mm. our ability to reproduce our, our kind. Yes. That, that one is there. Mm. It's not a spiritual problem. Okay. It's a it's, physical it's problem. It's a physical problem. Yes. I, I, I'm happy with what you have said. Okay. And then that's where I'm going to ask you one, yes. one tough question. Go on. Um, because you, you said in those days there were no um, like tests and everything. Mm. If there had been a test right. for both of you to um, know yes. that uh, you are not compatible. And that's right. Where then comes love? Because yes. when you love um, your wife mm -hmm. or the one you want to marry, yes. and there's this problem mm -hmm. of uh, not being compatible and all this, what, how would you overcome that when you're already in love with the man or the woman? Yes. Understanding makes sense. Mm -hmm. And understanding an issue brings you the satisfaction that your heart requires mm. so establishing the physical condition of both of you mm. is even an added push mm. for you to go ahead mm. because i mean there are people who have managed to enjoy their lives mm. through adoption okay. if they know they cannot have their own kids mm. and they have the means to look after mm. somebody's child mm. nothing stops them Okay. from doing that mm. because out of the contact they make with other people's children mm. they develop strong links and mm. affection mm. for humanity okay. this is realistic okay right so that's the um so the solution to mm. incompatibility okay yeah. that's um but not on fruitfulness no no okay no. Uh, right. well, the, the, the issue of unfruitfulness Mm. Can 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 we explain the way mm. in 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 physical terms? Mm. If it's because you have a traditional 
problem of infertility in your family mm. that can run through. Right. Mm. Some people have overcome it through prayer. Mm. Mm. We experience uh, uh, Father Adam, uh, Abraham, and Sarah. Mm. How many mm. years did it take Abraham to be able to make a child, child. out of mm. a wife? Mm. He didn't lose hope. Yeah. He didn't lose confidence. Mm. He had faith in God. Right. And because of his purity and holiness, mm. God gave him the spiritual understanding mm. that at the right time, mm. I'm going to give you mm. a child. Right. So does it mean that um, um, in marriage, there should be tolerance and patience? Oh, yes. When it comes to spiritual things. That's right. One more important thing, yes. um, uh, Uncle George, there are more questions yes. that are coming. Come on. And um, let me uh, quickly announce the studio line. Yes. If you have any questions, you can call, ask in any language, three, can, English, uh, as, as long as I can understand the language. Mm -hmm. And um, Uncle George will understand many languages. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can call and ask any question that you want. You can text, um, the studio line is 074, uh, that is for WhatsApp, 074-778-36486. And the free line to call and contribute or ask questions is um, 0800-772-0869. You may call to ask questions for your friends, your neighbors, your children. It doesn't necessarily mean that the questions you ask is applicable to you. So don't um let that one wear you off not to ask your questions you can ask you can also whatsapp me on 74 so that we read your questions and then answer them god bless you oh uncle george one major thing that we know in marriages like a challenge in marriages are and um, yesterday we were talking about interference yes and intervening yes um should families interfere in um like we, we spoke we've spoken about unfruitfulness yes which is a major problem yes. to extended families yes should families interfere in marriages where there is no fruitfulness mm -hmm. are they permitted like um in quote parents mm -hmm. Sometimes we hear marriages breaking down or um, the parents telling their children to marry more. Mm. Do this, do that. I think there's a caller on the line. Let me okay. check and see. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Great God. Hallelujah, we can hear you, yes. Amen, yes. I just have a question, but firstly, I just want to um, greet uh, Elder Elder George. Okay. You know, right. I'm listening to yeah, I'm listening to the this. Oh, evangelist line is gone off. Right. Uh, I I need to junior. I need to charge the phone. The phone is dead. Yeah. Hello? It, it was coming on his. It is coming on yours. Oh, because it is on the recording. Okay. okay. Now, no, Seth is calling. Um, let's pick this caller as well. Hello, Nana? Hello? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. Uh, God bless you for uh, tuning in to blessed radio and calling um you are blessed to be here and we are blessed to have you nana go on you have elder i see you here first of all thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk to my elder and i'm most grateful to evangelist let's speak with uh, nana and then we'll come back to you shortly. I'll call you and I'll connect the line for you. Hello, Nana. Can you hear us? Nana? 
Hello. I think mother and son are trying to call. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the other phone? Let me connect the, the, the pin to this one. Uh, Is it long enough? It won't be. It won't, it won't come this far. Oh, well. Right. It will connect to this one. Okay. So, Evangelist, you can call my line or let me call you. Instead of calling Evangelist. Is bad. Hallelujah. Evangelist, yes, you are back online. The other oh, phone okay. died. Yes. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. No problem. Yes. Mm. My question the question I wanted to ask, mm. you know, because I don't want to um, take much of your time. Yeah. Right. Um talking about, you know, issues relating to couples before marriage, mm. I just want to ask a question. Mm. Nana, um, please hold on the line for us. Uh, your mother is on the line. Okay. 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 When, when, when we are, you know, when when we look at the divorce rate, especially in in um, Christian marriage, that's absurd. It's hard. Yeah. You know, when when the when you ask, you know, the reason for the divorce, mm. um, sometimes the, the 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 question or the answer that one gets is that because, you know, maybe the, the partner, one of the partner cannot satisfy the other in bed, mm. you know. Mm. So my question I want to ask mm. is that, the reason why I'm asking this question, because I've been asked this question before. Mm. So hence we've got, you know, someone that has been married for mm. over 50 years, mm. you know, hopefully we'll, get, we'll be able to learn something new from him right. by the help of the Holy Spirit. So mm -hmm. the question I want to ask, because of this issue of, mm. you know, couples not being able to satisfy one another in bed, mm. you know, then is it, can, can someone, like, you sample one another before you get married to know whether you're compatible in bed? Okay, the question goes to you. <laughs> oh, all right. Fortunately, uh, my wife has never complained about my inability <laughs> to satisfy her. Yes. Um, but the issue is this. Mm. Um, marriages have all the kind of human problems that you can think of. Mm. And one of them is incompatibility. Right. Uh, the interesting thing is that if we ignore the spiritual content of marriage, we lose out on many, many, many things. Mm. You see, if, because if you are spiritually composed, mm. then sometimes with your, with your relationship with God, mm. you are guided and you are empowered to do certain things. Amen. The weakness in bed can come as a result of over exercising ourselves outside our marriage realm. Mm. There are places you go and you come back a weaker person mm. in spirit. Mm. Mm. And that is one basic thing about marriage which we must appreciate. That mm. Mm. a man going to the wife is a spiritual exercise. Mm. I would even advise that before you go into your wife, mm. you have to share a prayer together. Mm, that mm. God, Holy Father, you created marriage. Mm. We are going to perform one of the acts that will bring mm. the realization of your need to mm. replenish the earth. Mm, mm. So empower us, mm. give us mm. the technique, help mm. us to satisfy ourselves mm. through your guidance and direction. Mm. This is possible. This is very to powerful. a good Christian. Yes, to yes. a good Christian, this mm. is something that can be done. Yes, it's you very know. Powerful. Wow. If you take marriage as a physical exercise, mm. you are likely to have problems Problem. on this. Okay. That's, that's a very powerful. Uh, I've even learned something right now. Mm. To pray before. Yes. yes. Yeah. It, many, I don't believe many Christians no. do that. No. Because they see it as a physical thing. Yes. So, um, evangelist, I believe your question has been answered. Nana? Yes, daddy. Uh, evangelist, stay on the line. Don't worry. Who, we are here together. And uh, so, Nana, you're welcome. Uh, your uncle is here. Yeah, uncle, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm most grateful to talk to you. Mm. 
Mm. Yes, and America is morning. Yeah. yeah. And uh, UK is afternoon. All right. Yes. yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, make a film kakana makabofu. All right. Yeah. Because of. Yeah. And that 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 Apo say. So when I'm transferred to English now, mm. is, uh, I'm most grateful to you, to the opportunity while you were waiting for you. Yes. The other day I prepared myself very good I know. to <laughs> wait for you, to yeah. listen to you. Yes. But Brother Moses and uh, the draw, um, uh, uh, Pastor Apol and uh, our our brother, senior brother, yeah. uh, I forget the name of the brother King, yeah. they, they did something that was positive. Yeah. Mm. So today, what am I saying? I'm very happy to get you today. Right. And uh, mm. I believe that the Almighty God grant you internal life mm. that we can learn from you, long life. That's the most important. Mm. Whilst I'm listening to you today, my is my opportunity. Mm. That's the only prayer that I'm requesting from my Lord mm. and our Lord to you. Mm. That 77, God should give you as Ezekiel yes. did. Mm. I'm granting it to you today. Thank you. Mm. That Thank you. God should extend more yes. for we should learn from you yes. as mm. long as I'm concerned. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, amen. And uh, uh, my pastor, Reverend Apo, asked about um, uh, if you don't have money, you shouldn't uh, marry a rich man. Yeah. You know, I'm very, I'm very sad again, once again. Mm -hmm. And you answer him clearly. You know, God came for everybody in this world. Yes. Mm -hmm. That whether you have money, whether you don't have money, yeah. you are entitled yes. to get what you want, yes. especially in terms of when we close to God. Yes. Mm. So I'm very sad with that, mm. but uh, God should forgive that pastor, should strengthen him to open his mind, oh, yes. to reverse again about what he said. Yes. Mm. Mm. And the judge, also, I'm happy for you, mm. and uh, I'm endorsing you also again, for Brother Moses, Brother King, I know frequently trading on you that you come on the radio yes. time mm. to time. For we should learn because what you start with, Reverend, my pastor, Apo, yes. you know, is very, you know, grateful. And I'm very happy because we, the generation that we come in, yes. look at what Reverend Apo said. Reverend Apo said, even when you were married, he was not born. Me too, the same thing. Oh. <laughs> You see, so if, if there's such a man yes. in the studio yes. telling us what we don't know, yeah. people paid money yes. for we should know. Yes. Mm. Mm. But now we're getting it free yes. by the grace of God. Amen. That is why I'm pleading to God. Mm. I stand in the name of God to mm. plead in that you should extend your years mm. for you. Yes. Mm. For we should learn. Mm. And by the grace of God, mm. God has listened, and mm. Reverend Paul, my pastor, has endorsed it too. Amen. And spiritually, it's done. amen. It's done. So amen. keep it up, amen. keep it up, keep mm. it up. Mm. And I said greetings to your lovely wife, right. mm. Nanosa Boatin, and our church, Open Door Prayer Ministry Worldwide. Yeah, that we say hi to you once again, and we we appreciate you, you and your wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much, Nanosa Boatin. I I, I hear you. noise behind. I know you are at work, yeah. uh, but you have taken your time to um, call. This is also a blessing unto us that um, anytime you call, you speak in wisdom, and um, hearers will hear and know that um, we have a very powerful man also in America. God bless you so much uh, for your contribution, and uh, we'll talk of. Uh, when we have finished. God bless you. Evangelist, bless I, you. Uh, I, uh, your son is here. So now that we have um, had Uncle George, we're still going to continue with this. This question I want to ask, I'll put uh, both of you off now and we'll continue. When you have any more questions, you can call and ask. You have another question. One of your young 
boy is asking so i don't know if you're able to access your facebook messages uh let me check my facebook um yeah i can read it for you if you want to okay read it yes mm. it says uh it's junior he says please my question is mm. how do you deal with your marriage when the love fades when the love fades out and doesn't have affection for each other anymore thanks how does you how, how do, do you deal, deal with, with marriage mm. when the love fades out and doesn't have affection for each other anymore okay uncle george oh thank you very much yes from the marriage and there is no affection for one another so how do you deal with that okay but so that's the question your your son is asking yes, yes. well love so is... i'm going to ring off okay yes ring off and then we'll, we'll talk later uh, if you have any more questions, you can call back again. God bless you, Nana. Say, God bless you, Evangelist. Does he want me to respond to that? Yes, the, the question. Uh, uh -huh. Is this young man who asked? So I believe he has to. Ah, uh, okay. A uh, young man here. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I, I have told you that all <clears throat> true marriages <clears throat> are 98.8% spiritual <clears throat> and only about 2% material. <clears throat> So love, in the spiritual sense, doesn't fade. Mm -hmm. You can multiply the effect of love by mm. being super spiritual. Mm. You mm. see, mm. there are a whole lot of materialistic situations that mm. can make you feel unloved. Mm. Technology has brought us into such a world mm. that many things happen at the same time. Mm. And they work on our intelligence and our desires mm. you see aha uh -huh. but things of spirit are solid and fast mm? Mm. yes if you think that you've married your wife with a spiritual love mm. in line with god's command then don't expect love to fade mm. if you see any change what you do is go on your knees and speak to your god and say lord I am beginning to find my wife unhappy and unpleasant. Mm. So please, guide me and teach me how to work on that. Mm. You will get the answer. Amen. Amen. Don't go to any wayside or shop to say, my wife is misbehaving, so pray for me. Mm. If you don't take care by the time you are aware the shop is sleeping with your wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you understand? Mm. God has, has, because of his image in us, has mm. empowered us so much mm. that there is no problem in our life that we cannot mm. solve mm. by asking him to guide. Mm. This is basic. Mm. Open mm. your mind, open mm. your heart, mm. and let your spirit be guided by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then you see things happening to you, mm. to marvel you, mm. and to please you, mm. and to edge you on in mm. life. Do you understand? Uncle George, one of the questions I want to ask. Yes, um, I believe, Junior, you've had a clear answer to it. Yes. Um, in marriage, mm. this is a very vital question. Go on. Can one last after his wife or her husband? Can last, we are married. Let's take it. I'm married with my wife. Can I last, can that spirit of last mm. be effective in our married life in terms of there is one maxim that sometimes we hear of divorce yes. because of uh, uh, someone has been i married a fat woman now she's slim i married a slim woman now she's fat mm -hmm. uh, i married a beautiful lady now she's this yes. uh, defamation or yeah. something yeah. can it have effect in a marriage uh, yes, that is when we become materialistic. That's why I'm asking of the last. Yes, the, the last is this. As I said, if you make God the foundation of your marriage mm. and you are prayerful about it 24-7, mm. mm. being prayerful doesn't mean when you feel a bit jilted, then mm. you go and pray. No. Mm. Even when you are enjoying Enjoy. your wife, mm. when you are to the fullest amount mm. of 
enjoyment mm. continue to pray, pray. Mm. to sustain the level of mm. affection mm. to sustain the level of attraction mm. and to open your love eyes right to be able to sustain your marriage mm. you see because if you don't do that mm. just as the serp serpent went to eve mm. we have serpents around all our marriages mm. in the modern world mm. Mm. it could come from attraction from another woman mm. or gossip from somewhere mm. or lack of funds to sustain yourself mm. this these are all mm. elements of the serpent in mm. our lives right mm. so when once you get married mm. and when once you know as a human being mm. there is the subject of pressure and compunction mm. then you have to pray against mm. adversity in mm. marriage right and the adversity can always be avoided mm. by the power and intervention of the holy spirit amen amen i like um the holy spirit always being the center of um the marriage and then um the um foundation yes as god being the foundation when should parents interfere in marriages yes this is also a very interesting question. Mm. The parent intervention comes about when they realize that the couples are not able to sustain themselves. Right. Because under normal circumstances, good parents will never come into your marriage. Mm. They will rather quietly pray mm. that mm. you endure mm. and that you receive guidance mm. and you receive blessing. Mm. Mm. The parents that enter into couples marriages mm. always do so for certain selfish reasons right there might be some of them who have never liked your wife's face mm. and so they will rather mm. want you mm. to divorce her so mm. that they will have their own Some way, way. To, to, towards you mm. Mm. but the bible says what god has put, put together, together. Mm. let no man put mm. asunder right but the serpent or the serpent is always there. Mm. The human being under. yes. Mm. The human being can be a serpent in your in your marriage. Mm. Mm. Uh, a form of entertainment can be a serpent in your marriage. Mm. I, I want you to elaborate on that. Which form of entertainment? Yes. Mm. Take for instance you live with your wife and secretly you watch blue films on oh, your Oh, okay. Th right. th this this mm. is a serpent. Mm. It's mm. drawing your attention mm. from mm. the reality mm. of the spirituality of mm. your marriage. Right. Uh -huh. mm. And because of technology, mm. all these things are all over the place. Mm. Mm. And all because we don't persistently mm. pray mm. for the Holy Spirit mm. to control our affairs. Mm. Right. Every second of the day, mm. there is temptation somewhere mm. coming from the north, south, east, or west. Mm. 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 And the mm. ammunition to that mm. is to arm yourself with prayer and believing mm. that whatever you tell God, mm. he comes round to solving mm. your problem. Right. He might delay, mm. but the delay has always mm. arisen, mm. which is conducive to God's purposes, mm. not mm. to our purposes. Yes. To maybe empower you. Yes. Uh, to strengthen you. That's right. To lead you. Yes. To somewhere. Yes. Right. So, um, in, in effect... In natural fact, there shouldn't be um, interference when you are not, uh, you have not been invited. No, or no. You, you can, you can only inter interfere. Yes. Um, when one seeks your advice. Yes. Like maybe I'll call Uncle George. I know you are very experienced yes. in marriage. I said, Uncle George, um, I'm facing this challenge. Yes. Um, I need your advice. Yes. Now you may decide. Mm -hmm either to call both of us yes. or to deal with right. one person yes right so um in effect your advice yes. is when a, a couple they build mm. their marriage on spirituality yes and on the foundation mm. that they were married upon mm. then it, it, there will be less interference there will be less interference mm. and when there is there is interference mm. you, you must know the right point to touch Right. To seek advice. Right. That's why we have these marriage marriage mm. counselors mm. who are professionals. Mm. They advise you mm. uh, not on the basis of their relationship, mm. but on the basis of their professional acumen. Right. Yes. Mm. 
and then also marriage is such that mm. when you begin to seek advice mm. from unorthodox sources mm. you damage your own belief mm. and mm. your consistency mm. of belief right. this is very important it's very important first of all go to the professional mm. or go to the church and in, in fact it must be the responsibility of mm. all churches mm. and when i say churches i mm. mean the true churches. worshipers mm. on the policy of mm. christ mm. to mm. establish advisory processes mm. in their uh, in their mm. in their fold mm. so that when there is any such need mm. for a couple mm. to be advised mm. or to be encouraged mm. to work towards their marriage, their marriage mm. they will go there they won't go mm. to an outsider outsider uh -huh. okay it should be done in the church yes. that's very very important yes and um, um it brings me to another question yes a uh, very interesting question mm. When you are one is in a church, yes, and then they go and seek counseling mm. from their pastor. Yes, I, I'm talking out of experience. Yes, uh, what I've heard before. Yes. what I've seen. If your pastor advises you, mm. I've heard it. I've heard it few times. Yes, and the pastor says, "You cannot marry this woman." Mm. Do you continue in that church or you leave? Um. The head pastor tells you. Yes. Because the Bible says God hates marriage. Yes. One of the things I always tell people and tell leaders, pastors, is don't ever advise mm. a member no. or anyone no. to divorce. No, no. Because when you do that, you are going against God's uh, uh, established. established marriage. Yes. So... Hereby I hear mm. a pastor saying, a leader of the church, mm. saying to one of the members that you cannot marry this man, continue mm. this marriage, because he's wicked. He's not taking care of mm. your children. Mm. Is it biblical? Would, I, would you continue to attend such a church? Well, I will think twice about my relationship with the, the pastor and then with the church he leads. Mm. Because if he is a true man of God, mm. he will first of all say, let us put into prayer and mm. see what the Holy Spirit mm. will come up with. Right. Before he utters anything at all about okay. divorce mm. or continuity in the marriage. Mm. Mm. You see, because there are a whole lot of people who take on the cloak mm. of spirituality, mm. but they represent different institutions. Right. You know, mm. so uh, as I said, before you go into marriage, mm. you must get yourself spiritually prepared mm. because in the first place, it's a command mm. from God. Mm. And no a command from God can be broken easily. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Because when once he established it, mm. the command, mm. then it is there till end of life. Mm. Mm. And if you are unable to pursue the command, then it means you are not approaching him right. for support, mm. encouragement, and guidance. Mm. That is important. Mm. Mm. Don't be human in terms mm. of matters mm. which requires spiritual approach. Yes. You've mm. got to attempt mm. to keep the word mm. so that the word will uplift you mm. and the mm. word will make problems mm. solvable. Mm. Mm. It is not easy to be a Christian. Yes. If I tell you how I stuck to my wife, mm. you will we, we, we want to hear <laughs> a little bit. When I mm. was about 12 years old, I stayed with a gentleman in Koforidua. Mm. When my elder brother was moved to Tema, mm. this man just decided, mm. because I'm a Siedu and he is a Siedu, mm. and the way I saved the, uh, the, the bachelors in the house. Mm. So when my brother said he has a problem, he went to the man. He said, oh, mm. don't worry. I have always wished you to tell me you want a Siedu to stay with me. Mm. And this man was married to a lady who had a child from a previous marriage. Mm. And you know, such situations can mm. bring tension mm. all the time. Mm. Mm. I was very, very young, mm. but I was very, very spiritual in my mm. way of mm. doing things. Mm. And the way tension was always coming in the marriage, mm. I took a pen and a a red pen and, mm. and paper and I said God mm. please mm. guide me so that wh whoever comes my way mm. 
to bear a child for me shall be my wife mm. for the rest of my life. Mm. I wrote it and mm. put it in my Bible. Mm. Mm. So when I came out mm. of education uh, training and so on, and I met my, my present wife, mm. and we started playing hide and seek, mm. mm -hmm. and then a pregnancy came out of it, mm. I recalled where I left that paper. paper. I went into my job box, the mm. job box I used mm. at the college, mm. and, the, and that statement was there. Mm. So I made a cross on my face and mm. said, God, thank you for mm. sustaining this mm. paper. Mm. 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 I had challenge, challenges going to marry my wife mm. because I am a Kwapim. Mm. My wife is a da, mm. stroke, Aibe. Mm. So either openly yeah, or well, secretly, yeah. there mm. were lots and lots of challenges. Mm. And I mm. said to myself, mm. I can never break mm. a vow, a mm. covenant with God. Mm. Mm. This woman, no mm. matter where she comes from, mm. I must live with her. Yes. Mm. Mm. And that is what has happened to mm. me Up for the now. past years. Yes. So it means determination yes. and prayer yes. is really needed That's in, right. in marriage. In marriage. And what you have made up your mind, yes. what covenant you have made yes. with God. It must be oh, yes. uh, uh, obeyed. Yes. And, and, and uh, this, we will definitely continue on this topic okay. because it is very, very important. Okay. I believe people are being blessed, uh, uh, people are listening, and right. they are uh, receiving mm. something that they have not received before. Right. One of the things um, I would like to ask also is about challenges with. Um, how do you deal with challenges with stepchildren in marriage? Yes. Um, this will be uh, maybe a whole topic on its own. All right. Because um, I've had so much, mm. I have dealt with such mm. issues mm. for a long time. Yes. Oh, well, well, my stepchildren do not respect me. My no. step this, my step that. But you, one knew that whoever you are going to marry mm. has children yes or as a child mm. so what was your motive mm. you know i remember so many years mm. um, a woman says something to a man he says mm. marry me and marry my dog oh yes <laughs> yes you can't just marry me and no. leave my dog no so once you, you are aware that mm. i have a dog yes in quotes yes. i have a child yes you have to marry both of that, us that's right you are taking both of us but yes. Um, in, a, in, in, in summary, yeah. in summary, how do you deal with matters of that sort? Right. Um, it is all boiling down to the spirituality, spirituality. of the man mm. and the spirituality of the woman. Mm. The two of them should realize mm. that the children from the other man or the other woman's marriage mm. are all products of God. Right. and must be given due respect. Mm. Respectability mm. must be there. Mm. Mm. And also, we must appreciate the fact that since they come from a different source, mm. their attitudes, mm. their behavior, mm. may not be in line with our own accepted mm. rules and regulations. Right. So, it is our responsibility to work out a scheme mm. to make them feel wanted, Mm. to make them feel part of the system mm. Mm. and then to impart into them mm. through prayer mm. the ability to acknowledge you mm. as the father right yes it is mm. all a, mm. a, a prayer mm. situation mm. yes it's all about prayer yes prayer because mm. they may have come from a source mm. which is more demonic than you can imagine <laughs> it's true. so that mm. line must be broken mm. Mm. and let them feel wanted mm. let them feel loved mm. let them see practical mm. application mm. of fatherhood mm. coming from you to them mm. Mm. and when that happens mm. no matter what satan tries to do mm. the children will begin to relate to you mm. the way you want them to relate right that's that's a very powerful yes. explanation um we have been online for over an hour. Oh yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we thank God. We are. I'm really soaking. I'm really soaking. Uh, from uh, Elder Asiedu in Tow. He's, he's really 
and experienced uh, marriage counselor uh, by by virtue of his uh, long um, this thing years in marriage. Yeah. I, have, I think I have a question here. Please, do you marry based on family acceptance from both sides or one side? or based on the uh, companionship that exists in the couples? All right, mm -hmm. yeah. It's another Sometimes, powerful question. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we say in a can, I say, Ubi apedia eni udumposono. In other words, what might be a deserving something for you mm -hmm. might be hated by the other person. Other person. You see, but as far as you are concerned, mm. if you love it, mm. if you've prayed for it, mm. and it's coming to you, mm. then you must find ways and means mm. to get the other person to mm. want to love it mm. the way you love it. Okay. Yes. Mm. And it all this is a question of mm. spirituality mm. and communication. Right. Communication in the sense that speak mm. your mind to them mm. in a harmonious way. With this question, I would like to find out from you yes can one marry without the acceptance of the parents no because the point is that you are going to be in the marriage mm. but in 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 the in the true african context mm. marriages are between families mm. and not between individuals right so, so if i want to marry somebody mm. and then my parents say, I don't like this person. We don't want this person. Mm -hmm. You have tried convincing them yes. to let them know that you really want to marry her or him. Yes. And they still insist that, no, you can't marry the person. Do you leave it or you go ahead? You don't leave it. Mm -hmm. You don't leave it. The first thing is try and establish their, their sources of objection. Right. Why is it you don't want me to marry this woman? Can mm. you can you convince me mm. that your points are right? Mm. Then let them come out and tell you. Mm. Based on what answers you get, mm. you develop another approach to it. Mm. Mm. If you are a member of a good church, mm. you got to go and consult. Mm. Mm. Or you find an opportunity. To call your father and your mom mm. before an elder mm. of the family mm. that this is what I am facing. Mm. I am not convinced that the reasons they have given me mm. will stop me from marrying that woman. Right. Apart from the basic issue that one, mm. there is a contagious disease in the family. Right. There is a element of madness in the family. Mm. There is element of criminality in the family. Mm. You know, mm. these are some of the considerations that our parents mm. advance mm. before they will say, no, I don't want you to go into that house. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. So um, it means we have to um, try and convince yes. them and um, know that they, they give you their blessings before yes. you can marry the yes. person. Right. Uncle George, thank you so much for coming well, to this program. We haven't finished at all because I, I, have, I, I have millions of questions. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even I gone know. to the level of no. abuse, abuse in marriage. Yes, that's you right. know? Yes. We, we'll, we'll have time to come right. and talk on abuse in oh, marriage. Okay. Do you have to um, stay in an abusive yes. relationship? Yes. How do you cope with right. an abusive yes. uh, husband yes. or wife? Yes. Um, what we need to do do yes. we have to uh, 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 make it open to the public yes. or if i say public maybe your parents yes. or your pastors yes. tell them what is going on in the marriage we'll come to all right. these things but okay. i believe um till now listeners have been blessed okay. with what we have come uh to realize yeah. in marriage right. and um i love the spirituality right. of marriage yes. because um, yesterday we talked about interference and mm. intervening mm. and um, you have touched on one of mm. them mm. very very important yes. that um, we must know the foundation mm. the foundation as God mm -hmm. and then he, once he is the foundation mm. of the marriage and the uh, uh, 
uh, one who instituted it, mm -hmm. then if we have problems, yes. we need to go to him first. And first, that is the key. Mm -hmm. Go to him, and that will lessen the challenges right. that we face yes. in marriage. Yes. Um, we haven't touched on even finances. No. We haven't touched on so many things no. because the, all these things are challenges in marriage. Right. Um, but I believe the major ones have been spoken today. Yeah. And um, we'll find time right. and then um, come back um, and talk more on relationships, abuse yes. in marriages, how to deal with them, mm. how to overcome them. Yeah. And how to live peacefully mm. with your spouse, yes. with your wife or husband. Right. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for your time that you have had. Do you have any questions? We have questions on the Facebook. We have questions. Another question. On the mm. Facebook. Please, who do we consult? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Please, who do we consult? This will be, this will be our last question for... Mm. Uh, and I'll see you because uh, he has spoken for over one hour. So, please, who do we consult first when there is problem in marriage in the first place? Thank you. Who All do right. we consult first? The first point of consultation mm. is your own conscience. Mm. You have to sit down and ask yourself mm. what must have brought about this development mm. in our marriage. Mm you must be able to explain to yourself mm. that the factors that contributed to the tension mm. does not come from you. Right. And you must also be able to accept the fact that mm. it takes two to tango. Right. So any, any tension in any marriage mm. has a source. Mm. And if you know the source, mm. then you must be able to find a way around it. So, so. Uh -huh. the solution yes right yes i so, i love this answer mm. the first person to consult is, is your, your conscience. conscience yes which is very very powerful very, yes so when you sit down and mm. check mm. what brought about this problem yes is it from me yes is it from her yes. or him yes then you can now go further that's right to find solutions yes. for to to, to the question right. that's a very powerful oh, yeah. answer i believe um, whoever sent this message, um, you have heard the answers. Mm -hmm. Write your questions, and um, by the grace of God, in due course, um, and uh, I say, do will be here again mm -hmm. to um, talk more on marriage right. and how to overcome challenges in marriage, right. and then um, he will tell us more about his experiences. Mm -hmm. I have been with him. And I have known sometimes I see how he acts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've learned a lot from him. Wow. I see the way he acts. And then those questions I'll ask when he, he's here with his wife. Mm -hmm. Because um, I study both of them. Right. And there are certain questions, um, they keep silence. Right. And I see great solution right. when they keep silence. Yeah. Although the question has been asked. Yeah. So I watch, I watch. When you are living with, or you are. You have the opportunity to uh, have elderly people around you. Mm -hmm. Don't just stay around them. Learn from them. Right. Learn something from them. And right. for a few months, I've been with Uncle George and his sweet wife. I've learned so much from them. Right. And um, I apply it in my marriage. Right. And uh, sometimes I, Uncle George, I make jokes with evangelists. Right. I said, right. Oh, le don't let me give you answers like Uncle George will give answers. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we, we have fun, you know. Yes. Marriage, I believe, is all about fun. Yes. Understanding mm. uh, each other and then working it out mm. in a spiritual way. Yes. And when it is done that way, mm. um, there will be peace at home. Yes. So I will really thank you once again, uh, Elder Asiedu, Uncle George, for making the time uh, taking time out of your time to uh, teach us and to educate us on um, marriage counseling. And um, we pray that, as Nana said, what he said, we pray for long life for you right. and your wife Thank you. so that we can learn more right. from you. We can, anytime we call, uh, the Spirit of God will give you the 
power and the mandate to come and speak to us and um, people will be blessed. So God bless you so much for coming and I'd like to take this opportunity also to thank everyone who has contributed and has been with us all this time and um, those who shared the messages as well. God bless you for uh, sharing and um, evangelist Nano uh, say for your your contribution and, um, and those who don't want me to mention their names, their questions, very very powerful questions. God bless you all in Jesus' name. God bless you, uh, uh, Elder Asedu. Please, will you pray and close us? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity. Amen. We, by inspiration, have said what we needed to say. Amen. And as the Bible says, the word of God goes and never returns empty. Yes. We pray that marriages that have any iota of problems mm. from this hour mm. will turn round to say glory to God. Amen. We know where to go. Mm. We know how to react to one another. Amen. Father, give us confidence respectability mm. and reverence because Amen. marriage is from you Amen. and when we don't give that ab absolute respectability to it mm. we suffer damages yes bless all of us Amen. who are in marriage Amen. and those who are yet to come into it Amen. give them the appropriate attitudes mm. the appropriate responses mm. and the appropriate approach mm. to challenges Amen. There are no difficulties in marriage. Mm. There are uh, 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 what I describe as challenges. Mm. And to every challenge, there is a solution. Amen. So give us that benefit of mm. capability. Amen. And bless us with wisdom, mm. understanding, mm. and the ability to live with one another. Amen. And replenish our love anytime mm. we feel that we are losing out. Amen. Because that is the sustaining part mm. of our couple. Amen. of any couple that have mm. been brought together by your will. Amen. We thank you and we pray Amen. that the world will see wisdom Amen. in accepting and mm. rejecting and mm. promoting good mm. relationship. Amen. Thank you for the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, Amen. this hour and every day. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. That is such a powerful prayer back in the discussion from Elder Asidu. God bless everyone. We will continue another time. It will not only be on marriage, but we will be talking on different um, topics as the Spirit of God gives us the ability to be here. Stay blessed. God bless. Until then, we will see you later. We will see you later. Stay blessed.